Hello, this is Green Hat Red Beard Adventures, or since it's an unplanned video, today is Black Hat Red Beard Adventures. Uh, today's uh, video is going to be about uh, a little do it yourself wood burning stove that fits inside of an Altoids can. Now, before I go into showing you this uh, st wood burning stove and showing you how I made it, uh, I do like to give credit to where credit is due. And this design is not mine, and I saw it from another YouTube video. And it's from a YouTube channel called Waypoint Survival. That's Waypoint, W-A-Y-P-O-I-N-T, Waypoint Survival. And basically, uh, they posted the, their video about roughly about a year ago. I've made uh, Altoids-sized uh, stoves in the past, although in most of them I've never really you know used more than once because they didn't really fancy me all that much. So it was definitely fun to make. But I uh, never really went and did a second, use it a second or a third time after that because just like it wasn't really for me. But uh, this one here definitely looked interesting and looked, definitely uh, looked uh, very promising and uh, it was really fun to make. Um, I'm not going to do a show you a how to on how to make it because uh, it does involve, uh, for me to making it, I have access, I work in a metal shop, I have access to tools, machinery and such, so I use like a shear press, which is meant for cutting sheet metal, as well as using a grinder and a bandsaw. So obviously I'm not going to be showing a how-to video of it, but uh, I just wanted to make that clear now. So I'm going to show you what it looks like and how it's set up. And like I said, uh, the... Uh, credit goes to waypoint survival this is one of my old slingshot kits and uh just simply just repurposed it for the stove just to show you in the video so I open it up right now it's just a basic thing it's just the pieces in there and uh, i'm going to add more to it later on so starting off with this is made of stainless steel uh 18 gauge uh for those of you who don't understand what 18 gauge means that's the thickness of the material and 18 gauge is just a little bit thinner than 1 16th of an inch so stainless steel, these are our two side pieces. And then we got our rear, the rear of the stove. And then we have our front door. Now before I assemble it, take notice that uh, at the bottom cut, there's a straight cut on the bottom here. And this bottom one here is on, eh? see how it's like uh, not straight? It's like uh, has a little bit of a extra bit cut out there. That's basically, and the back end has the same thing. Well, this one's straight, and that one here has that little bit extra cut out. So this is basically going to fit like this on the front. So how this works is that the it's not going to be a, a stove where you feed wood this way. It's actually going to be fed through, through the side as opposed to the front. So how this works here, I'm just going to put this together. It's a straight side, goes over the lip of this, of this uh, side of the lip of the tanner, while that awkward cut can go over top of the lip of here, but also goes over the top of the container's uh, lid, as you can see right there. So I'll pull that off again, see how it's uh, cut out there. So it goes over both the lip of the container, but also through the lid, can, the container lip there as well. Same goes with the back piece. It goes over top of both the, uh, the lip of the container, but also goes over top of the uh, lid lip as well. So that's the front and the back of the stove right there is connected in. And then we got our two side pieces. Both side pieces are exactly the same. And we're just gonna slip this over top. Just like that. I made it so it sits up high. I'm gonna put this piece in now. There we go. And there it's, it's all set up. So as I said before, the wood will go in through the side of the container as, as opposed to the front. This way here I can put longer sticks in as opposed to keeping them short. 
So, and also the guy in the video also did it this way as well. Uh, he, in the video, his was done out of uh, some sort of a cooking sheet. I used stainless steel for mine. And then of course your cooking pot can just sit right on top. And this is actually far more sturdy than I thought it would be. I thought it was gonna be a little bit flimsy at first, but it's actually, I was just had a cup of two cups of water on a mug and I stuck it on top and it was actually quite sturdy, a lot more sturdy than I thought it was gonna be. So you got all the space from the inside of the tin, but you also have the uh, enough space from the top of the tin. So this, the size of the bigger piece is the size of the opening of the tin container, which is two and one eighth uh, wide by three and a half inches long. So that's two and a half, two and one eighth inches wide by three and a half inches long, which is exactly what the side two side pieces are. The front and the back of the stove is two and one eighth uh, wide by only three inches wide. So three inches wide. So basically when I use a grinder, on a right angle grinder, the cutting disc, the, uh, the cutting disc is actually the size of this. So it's not like I cut any extra out of it, it's just the size of the disc right there. It's just cut into it. Some basic measurements and you're pretty much set to go. So obviously like this is not like meant for like any really serious level cooking. This is probably, you know, just for, you know, a cup of soup or a uh, cup of coffee, a cup of tea, something like that. You know, something small, something to the minimum. And uh, unfortunately, as much as I would like to start this up and get it rolling, um, unfortunately, I just don't have the time to do it. The sun's going down soon, even though it is still probably quite bright with the time change now. But the sun's going to be going down soon, and unfortunately, I don't have really the time. So I'm going to – that's the sad part about this is I made this on a Monday, and I'm not going to be able to actually get this rolling and test it until probably at least uh, – probably not until at least Friday, maybe Saturday. So i got a few days to wait. But, you know, either way, I thought it was definitely a neat little thing to try out and see how it worked and if I can put it together and it worked. And so far it's together. It looks great. And that's the rear end with the whole vent holes there. And I uh, can't wait to give it a shot and see how it works and see if I can get some nice uh, cup of coffee made or something out of it. So let's get some nice little close-ups there. As, you can, as I said before, you know, I notched out a little extra so it fits over the lip of that lid right there. While on the side, you know, it's just a straight cut. So again, that's the side piece right there. Again, here's the rear. And the front door. So, uh, probably when I get home, I'm going, so all that fits into the Altoids tin and there's still plenty of space in there. So likely is I'm going to put, uh, maybe, uh, one or two of my, uh, uh, cotton and, wa and wax, uh, discs in here and probably some matches, maybe even a little bit of cotton balls or something like that. If I have any leftover just to fill it up. And uh, so that way it doesn't do the rattling around when it's in my backpack. So that's uh, Green Hat Red Beard Adventures and the wood burning stove out of the Altoids tin. Stay safe, have fun.